Imagine a young BTEC student named Dave, brimming with curiosity and a thirst for knowledge, embarking on a wild journey into the untamed wilderness of the industry jungle. Equipped with nothing but textbooks, a laptop, and unyielding courage, Dave dives deep into this world, encountering a colorful cast of characters. A wise old mentor sharing tales of coding triumphs and debugging disasters, a mysterious HR manager wielding the power to grant coveted internships, and even the occasional rogue coffee spill or office cat to lighten the mood. But behind all this, there's a twist, a lesson that Dave learns about the industry's wild side, and it's... Well, let's just say you'll want to stick around to find out. Hey there, curiosity explorers. Ready for another dive into the unknown? I am your host, Caesar, and with me is the ever-inquisitive Sonia. Hello, fellow explorers of the mysterious and the unknown. It's always a thrill to join you on this journey. And we wouldn't want you to miss out on any part of this journey. So, hit that subscribe button, drop us some comments, and don't forget to share the Curiosity Wonderland with your friends. Together, let's dig deeper into the mysteries that this world has to offer. Picture this, diving into the chaotic yet exciting world of industry, armed with nothing more than textbooks, a laptop, and a head full of dreams. Just like our friend Dave who embarked on this wild journey, he met quite a few intriguing characters along the way, from a wise old mentor sharing tales of coding exploits to an elusive HR manager who held the keys to coveted internships. And let's not forget the lighter moments bringing a touch of humor to the equation. Nothing like a rogue coffee spill or accidentally sending a meme instead of your resume to a potential employer. But it's not all fun and games. Sometimes it's about charming conversation, self-promotion, and making those crucial connections. Isn't it fascinating, dear listeners? Networking events, career fairs, all stepping stones in the path from being a BTEC student to an industry maven. But here's the kicker. While technical skills matter, what truly sets successful explorers apart is their ability to embrace curiosity, venture forth with audacious courage, and of course, a good dose of laughter. Don't you agree? The industry jungle may be wild, but it calls for those who dare to dream, laugh, and never cease to ask questions. Now isn't that a thought? I'd love to hear your opinions, so do drop a comment. Well, Sonia Gamares, it seems we're shifting gears a little. This next bit of wisdom comes from a Medium article titled, How to Be Curious, Not Judgmental. It struck a chord with me, and I think it's a beautiful concept to explore. Sounds interesting. Lay it on me, Caesar. We've all been in situations where we felt people were quick to judge us, right? The brain likes to categorize everything into neat little boxes. But don't you think we miss out on the deeper story, the nuances, contradictions, shared hopes and struggles that connect us all when we do that? Absolutely, Caesar. Labels can be limiting and prevent us from seeing the whole picture. Exactly, Sonia. The article suggests we approach life with childlike curiosity instead of judgment. It's about appreciating the freedom of not knowing, acknowledging the mystery of the present without leaping to conclusions. It's about staying curious despite the uncertainty. What are your thoughts on this? I think it's a powerful message. Embracing curiosity instead of judgment can lead to deeper connections and mutual understanding. I couldn't agree more. It's all about creating space for new perspectives and rediscovering humility. We're all just fumbling through this thing called life and there's beauty in that shared struggle. So why not shake things up and get curious about people instead of labeling them? I love that, Caesar. It's about creating an empathetic connection. Curiosity truly can be a powerful weapon against hatred and violence. It's a lesson we can all learn from. Absolutely, Sonia. And that's something to reflect on, dear listeners. Do you try to approach life with a sense of curiosity or are you quick to judge? Let's start a conversation about this in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Continuing our thought-provoking journey, Sonia, consider this. What if we transformed our judgments into questions? Now that's a twist, isn't it? Indeed, Caesar. It's about shifting perspective and shifting attitude, right? Exactly. 
Instead of labeling someone, we should get curious. We should ask, what's likely going on for them? What story lies beneath the surface? How do they see the world? What pain or joy shaped them? Those are some deep questions, Cesar Chagas. They certainly are, and they promote empathy. They help us see others not as simple labels, but as complex individuals, as works in progress. We all have our past, our experiences, our dreams. And that's what connects us, right? Our shared humanity. Absolutely, Sonia. The rewards of replacing judgment with curiosity are far-reaching. More wisdom, less loneliness, unexpected friendships, all from seeing people for who they truly are. It's a beautiful thought, isn't it? So, dear listeners, let's try this. Let's explore more and label less. Let's approach life with curiosity instead of judgment. And while we're on this journey, remember we're all just trying to figure things out as we go along. Isn't that reassuring? It certainly is, Caesar. A great reminder to approach every interaction with empathy and curiosity. And on that note, dear listeners, we look forward to your thoughts. How can we bring more curiosity and less judgment into our everyday interactions? Share your insights in the comments. We can't wait to hear from you. So dear listeners, we have journeyed through the wild jungle of industry with the curious BTEC student Dave, and we have explored a mindset of curiosity over judgment. Quite an adventure, wasn't it, Sonia? Absolutely, Caesar. From the chaotic world of internships and projects to the calming power of empathy and understanding, it's been a roller coaster ride. That's for sure, Sonia. But remember, in the industry jungle or in our daily interactions, Let's pack our curiosity over our judgments. Let's not forget the adventures of Dave and how he navigated his journey with humor and courage. Great point, Caesar. It's not about the destination, but the journey, and it's the curious minds that make the journey interesting. So dear listeners, if you're intrigued by our journey today, don't forget to blast that like button. And share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your own journeys of curiosity. And why not share this episode with your friends? Maybe they need a little curiosity in their life, too. And with that, we're signing off. It's been a pleasure having this conversation, and we look forward to many more. Goodbye, dear listeners. Stay curious and remember, don't judge a book by its cover or a person by their labels. Explore more, label less. Stay curious. And stay tuned to our podcast. Goodbye, everyone. The insights we discussed today came from an article titled the Adventures of a Curious BTEC Student, Navigating the Wild Jungle of Industry by Kushik Boini, published on Medium back on March 10th, 2024. We've dropped the full link in the description if you want to dive deeper. And with that, I'm off. <laughs>